Okay, Pablo Gunner here for a Nerdy Fitness vlog. And yes, I am back in the cost again because I did go home early on Friday once again. I mean, I only have the schedule for like six weeks, so it's like, take advantage of it. Because when my ch schedule changes, I'm not going to be able to go home. And it won't make sense to go home early on a Thursday, so it's like, I'm not, I'm not going to do it, you know? It's just going to ruin my sleep schedule, whereas I can start my weekend early if I go home early. I do have to make the two hour or the, you know, one hour, 45 minute trek, you know, to work first. But so yeah, so last night for my run, I did, so yeah, I ran 2.7 miles in 27 minutes and I was listening to Hybrid Theory because I heard the news that, uh, you know, the lead singer, I know his name's like Chester Bennington or something like that, I want to say, uh, from um, Linkin Park. Uh, I will say, like, I only have, like, the first two albums of Linkin Park. I didn't really, I stopped. I was very hipster about Linkin Park, because I remember getting into Linkin Park before Linkin Park was even a big deal, and then when it blew up, I was like, I was into Linkin Park way before everybody else. And, uh, so, like, then they were really popular after Meteora, or they were already popular, so I just stopped listening to them, because I was like, eh, you know. Like I said, I was hipster about it. That was way back in the day in high school. I was stupid, but... So yeah, I just had to listen to Hybrid Theory while I was doing doing my run, you know, uh, in homage, I guess. Uh, but it was a it was a slow run. It was a relaxed run. I was really I was really. The, here's the thing: is I changed my run because usually my run is it's mostly downhill. Or no, no, no. Yeah, it's the first part is just very steep downhill, and then it's a slow incline. Uh, the rest of the way. I decided to go backwards this time and go the slow incline uh, or decline and then the steep incline coming up and then so I really was just trying to go for a really fast time for that app for that mile which really wasn't that great it was like 740 or something like that so it really wasn't that that good uh, and I'll be honest like most of the time I was just focusing on catching Pokemon and evolving my Pokemon because I hatched a lucky egg, so I was like, "This is my best time to ha to to you know get as much XP as my as I can." So that's what I really focused on uh, during my run. So I was stopping a lot. Sometimes I paused it, you know. Sometimes I didn't. Um, but so yeah, so that's what I, that's what I did uh, for 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 most of it. So I was really slow. I went up and I finished, and I was like, "I'm not done. I have like 10 more minutes that I could run." So I ran back down, and then I and then I ran back up, uh, so to get 2.7 miles. So so that's really kind of that's really awful. 2.7 miles in 27 minutes, but uh, but you know, hey, it's 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 better than obviously nothing, and it and it wasn't you know it wasn't bad, it wasn't horrible. So yeah, um, I had to get ready for work and everything like that. Like I said, I had my protein bar because I was hungry. Um, went home. And I ate one, another one of those uh, chicken teriyaki rice vegetable bowls since I was still hungry, even after eating that uh, that protein bar, which I just had like there's a quarter left, so it's 20 grams. So I'm like, I don't need a crap ton. It, I'm just running. I'm not weightlifting yet, so uh, it probably won't be for like a two or like a two or three months maybe. This morning, I, I got up late, I slept in, I had to edit the podcast uh, before I went to bed, so I stayed up late and got up kind of late. I mean, I really only slept like five hours, four hours, something like that, five, five, six hours maybe at the most. Yeah, anyway, so I, I did my workout this morning, and it's my second abs workout. And so my second abs workout is created to like be the relaxed one, because it's like it's supposed to be at the end of your week pretty much. Uh, and so I do the basic, you know, like the warm up and stuff uh, with jogging and then jumping jacks, uh, knee highs, then this thing I call spirit bomb, um, key power up, uh, or Kai power up, depending on how you say it. Um, and, and that's essentially like jumping jack mixed with like a squat, essentially. Then I have butt kicks and then jump rope, then Heisman, mummy kicks, then Heisman. And you can change these up in any order you want. I just, to me, this makes sense because like, it kind of gives certain things a rest, you know, every other one. Uh, so it works for me. Stretch, and stretch for me, like for abs day isn't really, like, usually for me, like, 
and for most stretching, I think it's essential, but for this, I don't think it is so much. I mean, it it, 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 it is, but you it's not, like, you don't have to do crazy. The only thing I do is, like, the, uh, I like to call it, like, the Little Mermaid pose, because you, like, get down, and then you just stretch, like, your stomach, essentially. I don't, I forget the actual yoga pose for it, but I just call it the Little Mermaid pose, because that's what it reminds me of. So, for the rest of it, now, all this stuff is a minute each, like, all those things as well as this, like I said, for this uh, abs workout. So I do a, it's it's kind of confusing, but it's, um, you put your legs out, you essentially they're in, you put them out, you raise them, and then down, and then in. Uh, I, for now, I'm just gonna call them the uh, up, in, outs, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really come up with a name for it, but that's that's all I can think of. And then a crunch, where you just lay down, legs fl fat, flat, and just crunch, you know, but really focus on that core. Um, then the uh, raised leg crunch, which is more, it's more like leg raises. You're sitting down, you hold your, and then you just, you lift your leg, you pull in. You lift your leg, you pull in. And so a minute, with each side and what I did this time is I did one left leg because it does work your abs so I'm like okay I'll give it a little rest I'll do the cross so I'll do the um, I'll do the sitting crunch so this time knees up and then once again just you know tighten tightening that core tightening those abs you know not coming up all the way just when you and you'll feel it you'll feel it for sure um, and just like I said for a minute then I then I switched the other leg you know and did it that way. Uh, after that, I did the seated twist, which is almost the same as the mason twist, but you're not keeping your legs up. You're actually keeping your feet down, and you're just going like this, hitting your, essentially like your, you know, your palms or whatever, your your wrists to each, uh, to each hip. Um, and then I have a thing, hip flexors, I don't even know, I don't remember what that is. Uh, then there's floor switch kicks. So it's kind of like uh, the other thing, but you're gonna hold your so you're gonna hold your hands and you're gonna switch your legs. And now even for me, I went fast at first, then I went slow. Went fast at first, so it was like every 10 seconds or so, I switch it up. I switch up my speed from going lifting. You know, it's it's also kind of like a, a try workout. It feels like. Um, you know, because you have your le your hands holding you up, and you know, and you do it really fast. I always like to go really fast for that last 10 seconds. Um, then I have a decline crunch, which is you're laying down. Um, well, yeah, you have your knees up, and then you have your waist up, and essentially you're just doing upward thrusts with your hip, which may not look good if you like work out at like a Planet Fitness or a regular gym. That's why like some of these workouts might be better just at home, so because it looks like you're just humping the air pretty much. I have oblique crunches, which is you just lay down kind of on your side, and then you just twist and do, like I said, each side, a minute each. And then last, I have the push-up plank, which is, uh, you know, you're in push-ups, you're in the push-up positions, but you do, like, like I said, if there's people around, I suggest not doing the thrusts, but I will say this, that I would probably have the best lower abs when my wife and I, like this is early on in our relationship, when, when we were doing it all the time, when we were banging all the time, I had like the most amazing abs, especially lower abs, and it was because of those constant thrusts. And so that's why I like do push-ups and do thrusts. Like I said, probably better at home. It looks really awkward if you do it out in public. Um, and then, of course, just planks, which is, you know, your forearms. And then once again, thrusts I do with it. Uh, so yeah, so solid workout. I feel it, good deep burn. Not too intense, you know. I'm, I'm still sore from running, as well as from the other uh, from the other cardio workout. So yeah, I know um, I'm probably gonna go have brunch at the uh, Santana Casino here in a little bit, and then hopefully maybe get a haircut from uh, mi madre um, from my mom. So yeah, um, yeah, this does need tweaking. It, I will tweak it. This is not like the finished product. Like I said, this is a work in progress. And everything like that so this is a work in progress this fitness program is a work in progress progress you know it'll get all hammered out with time you know and chiseled just like the bot over time everything it takes time you know and, and make sure you remember that you know time and just keep at it you know 
even if it's small, uh, you'll, you'll notice things small, you know, over time, uh, slowly, you know, so, but just, just stay motivated, uh, so yeah, um, so that's it for me for right now, I will say though that it, because it is my weekend, I am, I am probably gonna eat some bad food, so I wanna know, like, what's your favorite bad food? Like it's 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 you think it's delicious, but it's totally bad for you. Uh, for me, I I'm probably gonna have to say pizza because I just love pizza to death. You can put anything on it, and it goes well with it. And uh, you can it, I feel like it's perfect because it has all your food groups. You know, like you can get your meat, your cheese, your vegetables, your bread. You know, and stuff. Um, as long as you don't go too thick of crust. That's why I like to get the thin crust. Even though Pizza 9 has some amazing thick crust. But that's why you have to get meat lovers so it evens out. But, uh, kind of not really. So, and it's always greasy too. I feel like Dion's is very greasy. But anyways, yeah, so I want to know what's your favorite, uh, bad food. So, that's it for me right now. Uh, live in pace. Talk nerdy to me. I'll talk nerdy to you. Stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy. Planet Earth.